upon his return to Karbala, a poem titled, The Grief of Zain al-Abidin. In the heat of the sun, under torturous rays, I saw a youth in the desert, he seemed lost on his way. Can I help you find direction? I shouted towards the man, but he just continued running throughout the desert sands. I went towards this youth, curious for that which he seeks. I approached his humble body, seemingly overcome with grief. Oh youth, you don't look well. What brings you to this land? His tears poured down like rain as he collapsed upon the sand. Oh man, I came here as a child with a family still intact. And now I return here as an orphan as my family was attacked. I came to find the bodies of the men who stood so brave. I've come to wash my father and lay his body in a grave. Horrified by his response and shocked by his cries of grief, I offered him some water, hoping to bring him some relief. As I tried to hand him water, he fainted from his cries. As a woman shouted from his back, with thirst, my brother died. Who are you, O lonely people? What has happened and to whom? She shouted back from under the sun, we are Ahlul Mu'minun. My father was Ali, my mother Fatima Zahra, the daughter of the Prophet that this Ummah soon forgot. His father was my brother, the Prince of Paradise. But even that reminder did not save him from their vice. They have murdered Hussein on this land in Karbala, took their heads as trophies and left their bodies out to rot. This is who we are. We are the family of the Rasul, Muhammad al-Nabi. I am the daughter of Batul. That youth that lay unconscious on the sands beneath your feet is the Imam of all the Muslims, Imam Zain al-Abidin. We have been wandering the desert for over three days, finding pieces of their bodies wherever they may lay. The youth began to wake, and I dropped down upon my knees. Oh, tell me how to help you. I'm begging, oh, Imam, please tell me, please. He rose up from the ground with bloody tears upon his eyes, running towards the spot where his father must have died. I could not see much, for he ran too far away. But I knew he found his father with his screaming, Ya Abba, Ya Hussein. And lastly, the small body that the youth then had to lay was the body of the baby on the chest of Al Hussein. <laughs>